Hello everyone, it's Model Farmer 6710 and welcome back to day 4 of the big model farm diorama slash, dis slash display. So there's a, a load going on today, making use of the very good weather, but we're actually kind of getting a bit worried as we've had about 5 days straight of good weather, so we hope we're not going to get into a drought. But uh, um, there's a lot going on today, so stay tuned, um, a few exciting things as well. So starting off here in Mick's farm, we have Mick himself doing a bit of jobs on the garden here. You know, after getting a bit of manure and a bit of compost, mixing it together and just um, putting it onto a few of the flower beds. Uh, get the soil good and he just has the four CX uh, using it to carry the compost. And his son is just there um, sitting down having a bit of a break after working, feeding the cattle there this morning. So. Um, now a whole lot else going on. The cattle there, they're, go they're going to be selling them on in the next few days and they'll be buying in a few more young stock and we'll fatten them back up again. Uh, the low loader has been used there during the week to drop off the digger from uh, doing a bit of draining. So um, just parked back up and Ushin, he's just power washed the uh, Abbey tanker there and um, yeah, it's looking well, so it is all nice and shiny. And he's just after coming back from Quinn's, getting a bit of fertilizer. So he's gonna he's gonna uh, fill that into the fertilizer spreader here, which it's not actually mixed. He's just after renting it from from the dealers. They did have an old uh, Vicon uh, manure, means fertilizer spreader, sorry, uh, but um, it rotted away, so I'd have to sell it on to someone with a Ford's and Major. So, yeah, he took that. So, yeah, new on TM on the Coon Fertile Spreader. Gonna chuck some fertile onto the grass fields later on today. Not much else going on at Mix Farm, so let's see what's going on throughout the fields. Okay, so uh, at the one of the quarries, Fence 818 is hauling a bit of gravel for a driveway. Just gonna redo the stone on the driveway for someone and yeah, just swinging down the road past Mick's farm here. Here, working in the cornfield here, uh, we have PJ himself in the county 1174 and um, he's uh, rolling with the with the Fleming's roller for Mick. He's just uh, doing a bit of work with the county. He says he'd take it out and Mick would have can do a bit of work with the county so it's nice to see that quite a nice set of blue and blue I know uh, it's not the actual correct rollers you'd be probably better off with um, a Cambridge roller or the ring rollers as they call them so uh, I'm just using the Fleming roller which is all I so I don't have the, the ring rollers so I'm just using that um, rolling in the in the wheat there so and then over the hill here 3140 uh, spraying with a new sprayer, new hardy sprayer, which has been um, he got it off a farmer, which he he upgraded and he sold his old one. So this spray here should do Mick grand. He's just spraying off a bit of docks, dock leaves. So should be the grass should be in good order for silage. Uh, so yeah, dock leaves kind of bit bit of a bad. A bad uh, order around mixed fields, so he's just trying to sort that out. So over here, so a bit of bit of action coming on here. The um, mix sonus is trying out the new Belmac muck spreader on the fourteen ninety. So first bit of muck going out using the new Belmac muck spreader. It's a lovely spreader. Um, I'd like to thank everyone for saying a, a day a good job on it. So thanks everyone and. Um, yeah, the 1490 looks quite well, a good setup. So, yeah, so now we make us three tractors, he's quite happy. He's not um, stuck for a tractor all the time now. So, yeah, he's very happy with this new tractor and purchase he has. So, here in the New Holland dealership, there's a bit of activity going on compared to previous episodes. Um, they're again. They just bought in two 
uh, new tractors well second hand tractors but they're in great order from uh, Sweden there and so one of them is a Volvo 705 coming off low loader and uh, Matthew Ferguson 2620 which is also coming off the low loader so they're just, they're just, they just came off the boat there this morning and uh, yeah one of the hauliers which uses a 2150 fast track a very nice fast track I love that JCB um, so yeah it's just a two hour journey from the from the port to the dealer here so yeah just unloading them off there now so I'm you, you've probably seen them gone in the next episode because there um, someone's already has bought the Valmet so and the 2620 is in good order so that'll probably sell quick enough but yeah they've, there is also a T6175 for sale so we have the two T6s the old version and the new version so comment down below which one do you prefer the T6175 or the T6180 so I know last episode me and Daniel done uh, uh, do you prefer the 1490 or the 1474 I mean the uh, f f f uh, 1494 so comment down below which one do you prefer over here in PJ's yard um, he got a few people in a few of his friends in uh, to help him move the sheep so yeah there's moving the sheep across the road as as uh, we said in the last episode we're going to be moving the sheep from this bog here across the road into this paddock here which goes on so yeah and, uh, and also it's a sight this uh, PJ he got the 956XL going he got the gearbox all put back together in a short space of time so he has this working now and we should be able to see this working for silage um 2021 so looking forward to that maybe have a using on the cool mower here and maybe on mix wrapper or something like that so we'll have to see uh, he's very happy with us running as smooth as ever so yeah very happy with eyes is moving the sheep along a few long, young lambs as well so So here and the contractors we have uh, one of David's friends just spraying for him with his uh, 7930 with the green star for the GPS it's a right job and uh, has uh, David's or 960 white sprayer spraying away there so spraying the crops look doing a good job and here on the road we have Nigel in the 8870 and uh, the double axle red rock uh, he's just doing a bit of uh, work for the local plant doing a few sewage tanks so he's kept busy with that lovely setup so it is he probably prefer to have the, one of the 50k tractors on the tanker but they're they're at work in the fields so you make have to make do with the 8870 Here coming out of the back way to the contractor's yard we have a 14090 on the NC um rear discharge muck spreader and uh, I think he I think he is um, borrowing the muck spreader from Nigel and David to spread some muck on his fields he only has about 30 acres to spread so they let him have a loan of it so nice to see uh, some partnership going on here's another view of the of the feet um, as a lot of you like to feed so which is nice to hear the new tractor on the farm so going on here in the contractors here we have two of the workers and just just uh, so doing some adjusting adjustments to the plow here but um, it's on the new their new demo tractor which is the New Holland T7225 uh, on the 540 so they're we're really going to put this tractor to the test with the 5 Converland as it's quite a heavy plough compared to their Lemkin plough which um, they were going to put it on but they, they say they test it really with the Converland plough so we'll get another view of the T7 so there's the T7 there, lovely tractor uh, let us know in the comments what you think of this T7 I think it's a lovely tractor, very suits the contractor's farm so um, yeah and also here's the Fent 724 on the Fife Rug 
them can plough so they're going to be going out ploughing today have about 50 acres to do so they'll be probably heading into the night before they finish up so they only have a few more ploughing jobs left to do on a few of the ground they have leased so and also not much drilling left to do so speaking of drilling we'll have a look at that but a few in the machinery shed here all the grain is sold and the 419s is parked up and so is the Pottinger cultivator which was doing a bit of action on the JCB and Unbiblical is parked up as well from the last episode here in the uh, cornfield here as you as you seen in the last episode they were preparing the field disking it down ripping it up and um, getting a nice seed bed so yeah doing a bit of drilling here with the Massey Ferg's 8280 and the horse 6 meter drill so making a nice job of this should be done in the next the next hour or two as it's a 25 acre field over here in Grain Co uh, we have the JCB which uh, is also the contractors you probably wonder where it was and it's on the grain grain trader which delivering loading up some uh, uh, some wheat to be brought to uh, to be brought to the um, mill to uh, get into bags of meal and stuff like that so that's what's going on there beside the cornfield so as you've seen in the previous episode day four um, this Volvo was in the workshop or in the New Holland dealership getting repaired Eugene was repairing it and uh, yeah they it's all fixed up now it's brought back to the gravel coals yard so uh, they're actually selling it which is hence why there's two people here and uh, the person that's buying this load and shovel is um, a turf a big turf dealer um, he does a good bit of turf so he said it'd be handy for loading up the trailers of turf which he sells to uh, which will do him grand as the work that the, the quarry was was doing with this loan shovel is a bit too much as they have to do some so they don't really need this loan shovel anymore so he just called around in his 6610 and yeah he I think he's going to buy it so you'll probably see this gone in the next episode and uh, one of the uh, young lads, seven, eight, ten, four is packed up with the sweeper. No sweeping going on today. So let's see what's going on down into the pit. So here in the pit, um, they have the they do some loan trouble loading up the A thirty five C, and the two dumpers are, other two Volvo dumpers are packed up the A forty D and the A twenty five. So they're, too, they're packed up and so is the 80 ton Doosan which has been parked up for a while, it's been always going non-stop since they bought it so yeah that's just parked up there. So I hope you enjoyed today's video everyone, please like, comment and subscribe and uh, I have a few things to say um, on Tuesday's video, there might not be a video but uh, me and Daniel are thinking of having a live stream to, uh, so Basically a little live stream talking to you and talking about models and things like that so we hope to have a live stream there so it's changed up a bit, a bit from the videos and uh, yeah so it, look forward to that and I hope it'll be it'll happen um, due to like the, uh, to be a good connection as sometimes the live streams have been a bit blurry so look forward to that everyone and thanks everyone for the support on these uh, on the farm videos they've been really doing well and I'm very happy that everyone likes them so so i'm gonna have a good day everyone and i'll see you again in the next video bye for now